Hey, Professor Homa, welcome to Getting Started Part 3. And we worked on the top section of this. We're going to be working on this. I'm not going to go through every little bit um, on the video. I'm just going to get you started. That was my intent, and then I'll let you work on some of this. But I do want, you, want to go over the float just a little bit so we have the, the numbers okay. Now, one thing I'm not seeing here, this should all be white. So I have to, one thing I want to do is make sure under body, we have a background color. I forgot to put that in. That should be white, which is all Fs. And that should make our background white. And there you can see the background's white. And what we're going to do is work on putting this to the left side and this and the side nav to the right side. And we're going to do that with percentages. And I mentioned the math to that. It can be a little tricky because not only are we, are we breaking it up, but we're also trying to use percentages instead of instead of pixels. With pixels, we could just add and subtract, and that would be fine. But but now we're using percent. So we, we kind of use this two percent. Uh, the section already has there's already a 2% padding in here you can see it already and so so that does not get included into what what is in there our hundred percent of these two things the side nav and this has has to add up to 100 but it does not include the 2% you don't have to add that as extra because that's kind of the containing element that it's inside of okay so I don't have to worry about that but I do have to worry about all the space that's in between so that's what I'll uh, guide you through a little bit here when we do this. So we went through the, the header part this, and we went through the nav part, which seemed hard, but that was pretty easy. And now what we're doing in the article stuff. Now, I'm not going to mess a whole lot with all this stuff. You could, you could mess with the H1s, the H2s, the Ps, and all that kind of stuff. You can figure that out um, just by trying different things in here. So I'm not, I'm not going to go through all that. But what I will do is for this part, I'm going to put a float left because what floating does is it pulls it from the regular HTML flow and, it, and it's going to float left of whatever's after it in the HTML. So what's after article in HTML flow? Well, here's here's article ID equals homepage. What's after it? Um, nav side is after it. So it's going to float left of the nav section. So um, that's what's going to come after it and then we're going to actually clear it after the side. So let's just go back and see what happens here. We'll float left and then for width we're going to put this width at we mentioned 80%, so I'm going to put in 80% to start. And then I'm going to go down, and what I'm also going to do down here for nav side, I'm going to put a width of, this has a width of 20%. So this is already done here, and it also has a couple things. It has a margin of eight left of 8% because I want a little break here. Now, this 8% is going to be added, added on. So you know, we're already looking at 28%, so we're already 8% over uh, what we need. And then we're also going to have inside this section, we're going to have 2%. Because if you remember from the sample, we're going to have kind of padding all around the inside of that. So I'll put 2% in there. So we're already, and that means on left and right. And if we look at our sample, um, or our old sample, I should say, there's 2% here, there's 2% here, there's going to be 8%. So that means 4, 4, and 8. There's 12 that we're going to have to subtract from this part. So. That's what you just have to remember how to do. So up here, it's not going to be 80. It's actually going to be 68 because it's going to subtract the 12 that I have down here in nav side. So I didn't put a float here yet, um, but I am going to put a background color. I'm going to use kind of a pink color. So I'll I'll put in a, you know I'll just kind of estimate at first. I'll put in FFF and then I'll right click. And I have an extra semicolon in here. Be careful doing that. And I'll just kind of go to a pink color. There's a nice pink color to start. And I'll see how it looks on my page. It looks great. Oh, that's not it. Uh, here's how it looks. And obviously, it's not floating. It's um, kind of sitting here right now. So we have some, some issues that we have to deal with. So we are going to have to, we want to float this also to whatever follows it. So we're going to float this so it goes over. It's the, They're actually the right percentages. Although, remember when I said when you float it, it removes it from HTML flow. So what happens when I removed article from HTML flow. This thing filled in its place and it put this 8% right there. So that's where that 8% that is that's here. There's a 2% and then an 8%. So we're going to have to fix that. So it's kind of um, pushing in that area there. So we're, we are going to float that. So we're going to make sure that for our nav side we will do, you can do float left. Even though it seems like, well wouldn't it be to the right? You can do a float left. That will work fine. 
that'll move it over there. Now this will be as long as the content that it's in it. See, it's starting to shape up already. We're gonna put, you can put a round corner on here with border radius. And again, for border radius, I would recommend going to cssmatic.com because if you go there, they can do a box, you can figure out the box shadow or you can figure out, um, you have a gradient generator, border radius, box shadow, any one of those, you can kind of preview it. Here's, you can just decide how much you want and get a visual and then just copy and paste the code and it does all the different codes there. They throw, be careful, they throw a border in there which we're not gonna use. But if you wanna, you know, here's, if you wanna put it up to like, I think I used 20 initially, I'll use 18. And I'll copy these three lines of code and I'll go back to nav side and I'll just put it, actually I'll just copy all of this because it'll put all that code in there. And it's making 18 pixels, so if I go look at it, there it is. There's my round corners, which is nice. So I also want to make these white, I want to take away the outlet, you know, I want to make them bold. So a bunch of things I want to do here, um, you should be able to do fairly easy without me recording everything that I go through. So as long as you get the, the flow part correct, that's the, that's the, and I already have the clear bow, so I already have it cleared for you. So you don't have to do that. So you shouldn't have any issue with that. Um, you're just going to be doing all the kind of the nitty gritty work in here with making it look nice. So however you want to do that, that's up to you. So again, this is the, this is the sample I worked on. And this is what you may have so far. So remember when you want to put space between paragraphs, you could use margin top. Try to use M's wherever possible. We'll try to avoid pixels so we can keep things as fluid as possible. And then I'll kind of after after you do this, I'll kind of, I'll do another recording where this is done and just kind of help you through the rest. So I'll do little bits, but I'll let you do this. I don't have to record anything. You know how to do this. Um, you know how to remove underlines. You know how to add uh, margin top or padding or whatever you need to do in here. Uh, you know how to increase the size of your H1s. You know by by using M's and 2M and 2.5M's. You know how to adjust the color, all that kind of stuff. So. I'll stop here and I'll let you continue to work on this.